she really said that? Do I look like I'm kidding? I think I understand. Maybe too many things happened. And she got cold feet. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you think gave her cold feet that she broke up with me? After a car accident, now she's the cute chick we love. The reason she didn't tell you is because... Can't you at least try to walk? What happened? Why is he so drunk? Well, the thing is, you'll have to wait for him to sober up so you can ask him yourself. I have to go home now. My goodness. Are you really my son? You need to get a grip on yourself. All this because of a woman? Father, I can't live like this anymore. What did you say? Father, you must have never really loved my mother, right? And when she left you, you didn't feel any pain? <sighs> I was weak like you back then. But it doesn't mean that I never loved someone. The truth is, you two meant the world to me. Your mother was my wife. I plan to live the rest of my life with her. Have some water, son. Here. Oh, father. You know what? I envy you. At least she became your wife somehow. And she also left me here with you. But with me to all, she never had the chance to be my wife, not even for a single day. She walked away from me, <laughs> leaving nothing to remember her by. What's the point of living? <laughs> hey. I did as you requested. I already broke up with Xiao Liang. Today, my parents and I will leave Shanghai. You're leaving Shanghai? If I don't leave Shanghai immediately, Xiao Liang will run into me. So in order to avoid disturbing him any further, I must leave Shanghai. Mr. Xiao, I'd like to thank you for taking care of me. I'm also thankful you objected our relationship. It has helped me grow up to know who I really am 
and to be more courageous. Also, thank you for your approval of me. I'm sorry that, that I let you down. Please take care, sir. Me do wait. I hope you can stay here. Shao Liang can't live without you. But I have kept the two of you in the dark about something important. Then you should keep concealing it. Never let Shao Liang know the truth. I would prefer that you keep him in the dark and let him be happy than to see him in pain because of you. I know he will be hurt when you're gone. Xiaoliang? 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 cold today. Here, take my jacket. Your hands are freezing. Don't look at me like that. It's creeping me out. Maybe I'm wishing you could treat me better. What's this nonsense? It's so selfish and brutal. Do I owe you something? Because you know, you should be thanking me for what I've done for you. You're right. You don't owe me anything, not even a single thing. So, I should be really grateful to you. <sighs> it's not entirely like that. I am also feeling thankful. Sometimes, you know, I feel like I'm really mean to others. Since you and Xiaoyang got together, I hope that something would happen that a problem would arise, then I'd have a reason to be by your side to console you and be the most important man in your life again. I felt that 
It was the only way to lead the happy life we used to live. If that happened, then Xiaoyang and I will become what I call true sworn enemies. He would be like a star in the night sky, and I'm the sun during a warm summer day. And I'm ready to bring you warmth whenever possible. But the warmth is fleeting. It might be only a second, but at least you'll let me feel that you were once a part of my life. Let this day be the last time you help me out. I must repeat what I said. I deserve Xiaoyang's love, but I am not worthy of yours. If you know that much, then you should cherish me more. In my heart, I know that you're worthy of being a star in someone's life. Dad, I heard that there was something weird concerning Nidoo's parents. What about it? Well, I overheard some colleagues discussing that her mother recently went to your office, and the two of you argued. Is that true, Dad? Did that really happen? I can tolerate if this kind of rumor goes around the staff. But you're Xiaoliang's brother. How could you spread rumors like this? I... Never again will you mention a single word about... Miduo's parents. Dad, I didn't mean any harm. I am just concerned about how will it affect our family's image. You know, if I want to know about someone's family or their past, it will be a piece of cake. And if I don't talk about it, it's because I don't want to mention it, and I don't want others to talk about it. Ziliang, one should be careful in actions and words. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Then we're good. He just couldn't admit it. It's no use. We cannot bring this up anymore. <sighs> Dad. 
You want something to drink? No, thanks. Just tell me what's up. Why am I here? I remember when we were first hired in the company. We were just regular employees. Back then, Xiao Liang was someone beyond my reach. And you weren't together with Mr. Lin. We were both nobodies at that time. We're very alike. Two normal girls chasing their dreams in the big city being hopeful. But now, we have both moved on. And yet the hate has grown deeper between us. Will this be the way we will keep treating each other from now on, Li Xiuan? I don't quite get what you mean to say. This is the phone bill of my parents' home phone last month. One call to them was a number from Shanghai. They were told to attend the anniversary party of our company in Shanghai. That number was something I know very well. It was your phone number. The trouble between us began at work, so I hope we could fix that at work as well. I don't want my family involved. Can you relay this to Lin Zilyoung? Tell him to leave my family alone. Because if he can't, I'll never forgive him. You have some guts, Miduo. Yeah, I admit. I can't recall everything from the past. But why should I remember those things? No matter how naive you were before, at least you didn't cheat on people. But now look at yourself. How many people have you gotten involved in that silly business of yours, Miduo? You accuse us of disturbing your family. But the truth is, Mr. Shao knows your little secret. He even helped you conceal it. Do you know how much trouble you caused this family? Don't you even feel guilty? Yes, I do feel guilty, but I promise you this. I will fix all the problems I caused. There is a reason why this happened. My intention was not to cause problems, so I should be held responsible for everything. I'm ready for that. Responsible? Responsible for what? Can you turn back time? To when you stole Blue Flame from me? Or when Zilyang went to jail? Or Mr. Xiao getting sick? Or when Zilyang's past wouldn't be disclosed by you? <laughs> me duo. You are so lucky. Lady Fortune is smiling upon you. You have the love and attention of Xiao Liang. You have the support of the whole company. You even have the chairman willing to hide your secret. So don't lump me in together with you, because people like you will never know the pain of people like us. Haven't you caused enough trouble? Xiuen. I don't need your pity. Since you want me to warn Ziliang, now let me warn you. If Xiao Liang already knows about Ziliang's past, we will both lose this battle. I am okay with that. Xiao Liang has no idea about any of it. And trust me, I never intended to reveal anything to him. Why would you conceal it? Did you do it in order for your secret to stay safe and hidden? I'm sorry for being rude, but this is the biggest difference between the two of us. Okay, fine. I'll let you win. You're always right anyway. I don't care if you will listen, but I'll explain it to you anyway. I didn't intend to hide my secret. You're right, it's all about fate. There were times that I almost revealed the truth, but the circumstances didn't want the truth to be told. Believe me, ever since this thing started, I never intended to cause trouble for anyone just because of my secret. The reason I didn't come clean before was because I never wanted to hurt more people. But you're different from me. Look at all the people you've hurt just to keep your secrets. I trusted that Lin Zil Young changed before he came back. But a leopard can't change its spots. I don't think I need to elaborate. You know this as much as I do. So I do hope that you can urge him to stop all his deceptive scheming once and for all. Love can give people more strength, not turn them into a coward. Enough with your fake kindness. We won't leak your secret anymore. But don't dare mess with us. Just to be clear, I don't want to be your enemy. I can also promise you that once the time is right, I will tell everyone my secret myself. I hope you remember what you said today. There's one more thing that I want you to know. Stop focusing all your efforts on me already, Li Xiuan. You should be careful with the people around you. They've already tried to steal happiness from you. Wei Shuer, for example. I do hope you can be happy. See you when. Thanks for the reminder. I've gotta go. Xiaoliang, how is it? Do you like this sort of food? You know what? I just love these snacks. They're my favorite. <laughs> 
However, you ordered too much food, and we can't finish everything on the table. It's a pity to waste it. <laughs> Honey, yes? shall we take the rest out? Uh, sure, no problem. <laughs> Waiter! <laughs> well, that was faster. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> that one first. I just noticed, Shaolia, you're so good at packing the food. Have you done this sort of thing before? Oh, well, I used to pack food in a Korean restaurant before. That's why I'm pretty good at it. Oh! Really? You used to pack food as a waiter? <laughs> yes, for a little while. Oh, did you both enjoy our get-together today? <laughs> yes, we had a lot of fun. Sorry for such a burden. <laughs> no, because you guys are like my own parents, too. You know, our Meili is truly blessed to have you. She couldn't have a nicer fiancé. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, what I meant to say is that our Meili must be envious of Miduo. <laughs> oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, right. Miduo, I'll just get the car, all right? Then I'll pick you guys up, okay? Good. Okay, then. Wish <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> Mom, Dad, soon you'll be heading home. I'm sad to see you leave. Oh dear, why well, feel so sad? We'll be right back to see you, right honey? <laughs> Before you guys came here, I was very cautious living in the world as Miduo. And I miss you both so much, but I was scared to go back. I honestly thought you wouldn't accept me. I was afraid others might learn of my secret. But now that you're here, I can feel your love and warm acceptance. So I'm not scared anymore. That's why, no matter what happens in the future, I won't be afraid to reach out to both of you. <laughs> <laughs> Mei Li, hmm? we think that Xiao Liang is a really nice man. I hope his family can also accept you. Your father and I, Believe that you can handle the situation on your own. That's why we'll be home and wait for you to come back with Xiaoliang. As our son-in-law, we can't wait for him to call us mom and dad. <laughs> that day will come soon. <laughs> Mei Li, your mother and I are going to leave Shanghai tomorrow. Don't bother to see us off, okay? Shanghai is a nice place. We wish you happiness in work and life, as well as in love. <laughs> you should be very careful about your relationship. Yiming is a very good man. If you don't think that he is the right person, then don't continue to give him any hope. That's don't true. hurt him anymore. Understood? I understand, Dad. I know that. I can handle it. <laughs> <laughs> I asked you here today to help me find a certain person. Find someone? Yes. I watched you as you grew up. I treat you as my very own son. You are the only one I can trust to do this errand for me. Have you heard anything about Xiao Liao's mom? I've heard some news. Don't tell me you're looking for... Since we got divorced, we lost contact with each other. All I know is that she's in Korea. I hope that you can find her. Have her come to visit. Why do you suddenly want to see her? Can I know the reason? I want her to be with Xiao Liang on the very day of his wedding. Marriage is an important thing in life, and she is Xiao Liang's birth mother. I wouldn't want her to miss this. It's so kind of you to do that. <sighs> Have some tea. <sighs> the beautiful superstar Gao Wen is expected to return to China at 6 o'clock this morning. 
The airport is filled with her fans. Months ago, gossip about her and Yahtzee was reported. She then went to Hollywood to stop her slide in popularity. It is obvious from the number of fans at the airport today that since going to Hollywood, she's more popular than ever. It seems that rumors are always surrounding Gao En. Does she have a big surprise now that she's back in the Chinese entertainment world? Stay tuned to the Eye of Entertainment. Thanks for the support. Bye. The press are waiting for an interview at the hotel. And Entertainment Weekly wants to have a special interview with you tonight. They want to cover your U.S. trip. They publish good stories Call and gossip. Call it off. I have other plans. Call it off? But I've arranged everything. The press is waiting for you. I have to meet someone important. Important? But the, but the press! I heard that you were away from the company recently. So was Mituo. What were you too busy with? Just some personal errands. Father, can you ask Lin Zillion to stop following me? If you do something inappropriate, the whole company will start monitoring you, not just him. Xiao Liang, you shouldn't let Miduo affect your work too much. I think that deep down, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> you know what you're doing. I'm worried that you can't pull yourself together. Xiao Liang, there is something I would like to confirm with you. Are you certain you want to marry Miduo? Yes. No matter what happens in the future, you'll have no regrets? I won't regret anything. That's good. All right then. We shall start preparing for this wedding. Go. Do what you must.
look. Mirwo, can you explain to me how you came up with the design of this ring? I'm not prepared to elaborate professionally, but while designing this ring for men, I did have some personal touches to it. Every girl grows up listening to fairy tales. She'd like to have a knight in shining armor to protect her and watch her grow. From being naive to smart, from fragile to brave, the knight will always watch her to give her strength and shield her from danger, even when the knight seems gone and the girl can't see him. This ring for men was inspired by a friend who watched and protected me since I was a kid. Find someone from the design team. Make sure they work with you to materialize this project. Are you saying that? What I meant to say is, your design is accepted. <sighs> thank you, Mr. Shen. No need to thank me. It was Xiao Liang's proposal that got you inspired. Congratulations, Miduo. All right, here. On this space, write down the name of the designer you'd like to work with. Your main task is to finish the project and make sure your design is followed. Okay. This is your own design. So why did you choose me to be your co-designer? I admire your skills from a professional point of view. Therefore, you deserve to be my co-designer. Don't beat around the bush. Just tell it to me straight. Xie Wen, from a professional point of view, I know you're more than capable. But you need an opportunity to prove yourself. Now I'm giving you this chance. I am learning to forgive others. The chairman chose to forgive me. So I also chose to forgive you because... I don't want to wake up one day and realize that I've become someone like you. Symptoms. Doctor, I want you to help me get married. What did you say? Marriage? Well, it's like this. I want to get married with a guy I like, but I'm afraid he won't agree. So I'm thinking... Thinking what? I want to tell him I'm pregnant, and I want you to give me a fake diagnosis. You're not pregnant. Mm -hmm. But you want to pretend that you are, just so you can marry him, correct? You're willing to cheat just so you can be with him? <sighs> Let me ask you. Do you really want to marry him? Not really. I don't love him that much. It's true. Okay, then. Then there's no need to waste your time. I hope you'll think it through. on your mind uh, nothing I just don't want her to go down the wrong path that's why I warned her I'm fine don't worry about me <sighs> who's worried here as your colleague I'm just reminding you avoid making mistakes okay have some water <gasps> go when uh? when did you get back come here let me take a look at you how are you why are you suddenly nice? If a female co-worker sees this, you're gonna break her heart. What are you talking about? She's not just anybody. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me introduce you. 
She's the senior doctor here and my good friend, Feng Wengqi. And I believe you already know her name, Gao Wen. Uh, nice to meet you. I'm flattered, Dr. Fang. I'm sure that Yiming here has caused you a lot of trouble. I'm glad you still accept him here. <laughs> Dr. Lei is great. I've worked with him for a long time, and I know him well. I'd accept him any time. <laughs> hey, so when did you get back? And what are you doing here in the hospital? Did your fans barricade the gate? I only came here for you, not for my fans. I prepared something special. Do you want to try it? What's that? <laughs> um, are you okay? It's okay. Well, um, Dr. Lei, we're due in surgery. I will wait for you at the OR. You'd better be quick. <laughs> All right, show's over. Let go of me. You can drop the act now. And let me be clear, she's my boss, okay? Don't try and defend her. She can get me in so much trouble. Oh. Don't tell me you're in love with that serious-looking vixen. Impossible! After being with a goddess like you? How can I fall in love with someone so ordinary? <laughs> well, I know you're telling the truth, so stop flattering me. I flew across the Pacific Ocean just to forget you. Now you're telling me this? Are you trying to change my mind? Okay, fine. I'll stop <laughs> it. You win. You heard her. Surgery awaits. Let's talk later, when I'm not busy. Let's go out, okay? Find some time. Find time! Ask Mido to come. Uh, Mido will... Well, she's getting married. If you see her, well, congratulate her for me. She's really going to marry Xiaoliang? Who else would she marry? <sighs> You're like her, unable to love anyone but that one person. So I guess I'll see you tonight. Be careful, drive safely. Mm, I will. Mm. Um, you know, I have this feeling that I'm truly back home, that I'm on solid ground. Up. My goodness, girl, hurry up! Come on, come on! Finally, you're here. Do you know we're running late? Who cares if I'm late? Don't they have to wait since I'm an international superstar? So you know you're an international star, huh? Before going abroad, Lei Yi Ming had taken away your sobriety. Now that you're back, you're delaying business for him. Mr. Shen has been waiting for you. Hurry up, he's picky. Whatever you say, in my heart, Lei Li is more important than anyone. Don't say nonsense, okay? Mr. Shen's a major client. This is your first project since returning to China, okay? Major client? Big project, so what? I'm a superstar coming back from Hollywood. <laughs> they should be grateful a woman like me will even be their spokesperson. Fine. Let me remind you, when we go in, show Mr. Shen some pizzazz and let him feel he's dealing with an international star. Okay, international, got it. Let's go. Yeah, we should. I'm sorry, Miss Gao. Mr. Shen has just left for a meeting. He won't be able to meet you. Oh, really? Does he know that I'm here? Of course he does, and he said while in a meeting, regardless of the situation, he is not to be disturbed. I'm so sorry, but you have to wait here. Um, miss, wait a second. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? She asked me to wait here. Who is this Mr. Shen? Does he know that I'm here? How dare he ask me to wait for him? I've been waiting for him long enough! Calm down, calm down. Why the hell should I calm down? Uh, I thought you were going to show him some pizzazz, right? <sighs> okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Now smile. Calm down. Be elegant. We Nayan 
在一起，每天都是好天气。六月的蝉鸣透露出我的心情。我提醒我自己，好朋友完美的距离，害怕终究要和你分离。知道你的心，它为何震动，而我已欣赏，只为你守候，就只言不留。但时间一切看得见，他，或许我们有缘，只是好朋友，而他是你寻找幸福的人。是你的朋友。